Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can connect your web page to a database. So if you're making a web project, then how can you connect that to an actual SQL database? So I'll be showing that with the help of a login signup page example and also whatever file I'm using, whatever code I'm using, I'll give that in the description. So in case you want to make your own project, you can just use those files and use those codes as well. Okay, so let's get started. First, we need to set the database up in our own PC. So for that, I'm using phpMyAdmin. So let me just show you quickly how to set that up. So you go to phpMyAdmin.net, which is the website. And in here, you go to the support. You go to the documentation. And here you have installing on Windows. So I'm using Windows. So installing on Windows. And here I click on XAMPP or XMPP, whatever you want to call it. So in XAM, just click download for whatever you're using. So Windows, just download it quickly and install it. So I've already downloaded it and installed it. So after you've installed it, you go to C and you're going to find a folder named XAMPP. Okay, you open that folder and inside that you're going to have a XAMPP control. So once you open that, it's going to look something like this. So it's going to have all these options. So after you've opened this, just click on up. So we'll be using Apache and MySQL. So click start next to Apache, wait for this to turn into green, wait for the port number to appear. And as soon as that happens, click start next to MySQL. So this also turns to green. And as soon as the port number appears, that's set up in your own PC. Now, how you can do anything to the database or how you can see the database, just go to localhost. That's it. So once you go to localhost, this is going to open and just go to phpMyAdmin. And this is the database which is running in your Windows, okay? So this is the database where you're going to store whatever data is to be connected to your web page. So these are the databases. You can create a database from here, new. I've already created a database called project. And inside the database, I have a table called users, which I'm using in my login sign up. So it's very easy to create a table. You can just click here to create a table, put the number of column, put the name and create it. So I've created the, the table users. And it has username, email, password, and currency. This is something related to my own project. So yeah, so you can create a table. You can create a database very simply from here. And afterwards, how can you connect it? So the database is here created. Now I'll show you how to connect it. So wherever your project is, keep all the files in a single folder. So for example, this is project two, where I've created and put all the files. I'll also give these files in the description. So for example, I have my login page, which is basically an HTML page, but I've saved it with the PHP because it also has PHP and I'm using PHP to connect them. Okay. So if I just show you, then this is my login page, quite simple, but it includes server.php. Server.php is what I'm using to connect. Okay. So after that, this is a simple HTML page, which is just, you know, has login uh, input forms and this error.php is also included in case of errors yeah so after that simply we have username and then we have the input for that we have a password then we have input for that quite simple right then i have my register so i'll show you my register page quickly as well so i have register.php again it includes server.php which is being used to connect and it's simply an html page and there you have the option of registration option of putting email username and password and confirm password Okay, and both of these are connected to my home page after clicking login. And then to show you my index page, the index page is again quite simple. It's just a page showing welcome to the page and then like uh, saying your name. Now, server.php is the main file. So, server.php is where I'm actually connecting it to the database, running queries, etc. So, let me show you server.php quickly. So, first, it's a it's a full PHP page. There's no HTML here. It's a full PHP page. So PHP starts and then these are the variables I'll be using username and email. So I'm initializing these variables as empty and then afterwards I'll be using them to check whether the like fields inputted by the users are correct or not. Then I'm connecting to the database using MySQL I connect and localhost which is where our database is root is the username password which is null and project is the name of my database. So here you need to put the name of the database. Okay, so if the user wants to register, then what happens? Then simply, I just receive the input values from the form. So I receive the username, I receive the email, I receive the password, and I receive the confirm password, okay? Now here are the error options. So in case the username leaves 
the, the username is left empty, it's gonna say username is required. If the email is left empty, it's gonna say email is required. If the password is left empty, it's gonna say password is required. And if the password do not match, then it's gonna say the two password do not match. Now, if everything is perfect, then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to select. We're going to select star all the users where username is username and email is email. That means that it's the user is inputting something which is already in the database. So it's gonna tell you that username already exists or email already exists. Okay, now if the count of error is zero, meaning that the user doesn't have, doesn't make any error and for registering, it's the user is putting a new value, then that value has to be inserted to the database. So for that, I have a query and that query includes simply insert into users, the username, email, password, and the values, whatever we've taken from the user. And that's it afterwards, you'll be uh, transferred to the index.php, which like I've said, is the home page. And it'll say you're now logged in. Now, in case the user wants to register, then again, we have to take the values. So we'll take the username value and we'll take the password value from the login page. And then again, some errors in case the user doesn't put any username. So it'll say username is required. If the user doesn't put any password, it's gonna say password is required. If the count of error is zero, meaning that the user puts everything correctly, then what do we have to do? We have to take the value from the database and check whether it's matching the value put by the user. So in case it matches, the user is now transferred to the index PHP with his credentials. So that's it for the code. I'll give all these files to you in the description. You can use them in your own project if you want. Okay, so these are all the files of my project. I have also have, I also have a style sheet, CSS style sheet, which I'm using in my project. Anyways, so whatever your project folder is, yeah, and remember to save the extension as PHP. Okay, so login, register, and index are pretty much HTML, but they do have PHP lines of code, so I'm saving that as .php. Okay, then whatever your project is, just copy it and go to your XAMPP folder. Here you have stdocs, and then just paste it here. Okay, so I've already pasted it once. Project is also another one of my project and I'm showing you project two. So whatever your project is, just paste it in stdocs under XAMPP. Now, go on localhost, okay? And wherever your project is, just type that. So my project is in folder project two, right? And then login.php. So if I just press enter, then it's gonna give me my login page. Now, you can see that I already have a value, this ashk underscore two one and the password, which is encrypted. So if I put the same password, then let's see whether I'm being logged in or not. So I put the same password, whatever my password is, and I click login and I'm being logged in. Now, suppose I want to sign up and I suppose I put something very different. So suppose I put Tyson21, email I put Tyson at the rate gmail.com. And again, password I put Tyson. And here also I put Tyson and I click on register. So it's gonna again show me my home page and it's gonna give me the option to log out. Now, if I go to my database and if I just reload this, then you can see that Tyson is already added to my database because there I had the query of inserting whenever the registration was clicked. Now, if I click on log out and suppose I put something different, suppose I put the same email, but I put a different password. Suppose I put a garbage password. So it's gonna say, yeah, it's gonna say wrong username or password combination because it's not matching with what is there in the database. So that's it guys, it's pretty simple. Using PHP, we're connecting the login page to our database, which is on localhost and there only we're running our web pages. So that's it, I'll give all these files to you in the description, check them out and if there's any doubt, just put them in the comments, I'll be sure to answer. Thank you.